Gleason. Yes. Clearly they've saved the best to last. I'd like to thank all my support acts. <laughs> Kitty Flanagan, Jamal, and Dave Hughes. Thanks for warming up the crowd. This government's got it in for renewable energy. I don't get it. How could you not like renewable anything? I like wind turbines. I like them. I like what they do. I like seeing them on the horizon, just spinning away. I think they look cool. There's always one not spinning. Have you noticed that? There's always one going, fucking, nah. That's Malcolm Turnbull. <laughs> he wants to spin, but his party won't let him. <laughs> I got solar panels put on my house. And it's hard to do material about it, you know what I mean? It's just kind of, you know, it's like... You know, because I own a house and, you know, comedy's supposed to be relatable. And, um... <laughs> you're, like, you're supposed to look up at me and think, oh, wow, he's just like us, but I own a house. <laughs> Anyway, I've got solar panels put on my house. And this is how it works, right? I buy electricity from Origin for 31 cents per kilowatt hour, right? And they buy my electricity from my solar panels for 5 cents per kilowatt hour. They're electrons. They're identical. You can't tell where they came from. You can't put your fork in a PowerPoint and go, Bzzz, oh, that's some of that mass-produced bullshit. <laughs> Bzzz, oh. Oh, that's the stuff. That's great. That's some of that micro-brewed, single-origin organic zap. That's what that is. <laughs> so I rang Origin, because I thought, this is bullshit, right? I rang up Origin. I said, how come I'm buying your electricity for 31 cents per kilowatt hour, you're buying mine for 5 cents? And the guy said, we go to a lot of trouble to make our electricity. <laughs> We've got a whole power station, a lot of overheads, whereas you just have sun landing on your roof. And I said, sounds to me like you need to put some solar panels on your fucking power station. <laughs> I think you've got a bigger roof than me. And I should start digging coal out of my backyard, putting it in my potbelly stove, setting fire to it, and then boiling a kettle. And then with the steam coming out the whistle, I'll run a little dynamo from old BMX light kit, and I'll feed that back into the grid, and I'll sell it to you for 31 cents per kilowatt hour, because I went to a lot of fucking effort! And he said, that is ridiculous. <laughs> I said, I know, it's your business model. <laughs> now, here's a tip for you, get an Uber home, don't get a taxi. I love Uber. You know why? Because taxi drivers hate Uber drivers. And the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> I've had two decades of their bullshit, and every time I'm sitting in an Uber, you know what? The thing I love about it is there are cab drivers all over Melbourne hating my guts, and I get off on the hate. I fucking love it! <laughs> have you ever caught an Uber from the front of a cab rank? Have you done that? I've done that. You have not lived until you've done that. <laughs> it is an absolute treat! Do it tonight. I've done it. I was at a cab rank, it was nine deep. They looked like they'd been there for a while. I pulled out my phone. Oh, gee, what am I gonna do here? Oh, look, oh, look an unmarked car's turned up. Who could this be, guys? I've got no idea. Look, I'm getting in the back seat. They're not my friend. <laughs> it's a business transaction of questionable legality. <laughs> Smells nice in here. It's not hard when you put your mind to it. <laughs> Excuse me, what? You're gonna take me to my destination? Oh, what a fucking luxury! <laughs> Thank you, thanks.